Hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to talk about my Ipsy Plus choices for February 2021. This is going to be an interesting video because I was not very happy with my choices and I saw on Twitter that a lot of others weren't happy as well. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below and we're going to be talking about the Ipsy Glam Bag X for a short moment and the whole like drama on that but um yeah <laughs> if you are into these types of videos for me because I am your friendly neighborhood spoiler and unboxing gal which I will have marked spoilers up after this video then please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it would mean so much especially because I've noticed in my analytics that over half of my viewers are not even subscribed so if you're already viewing this video right now if you would do me the honor and hit the subscribe button it would melt my heart and let's go ahead and get into the video also before we get started started I do want to mention really quick that I do have a lot of new makeup reviews up on my channel I will have the photos of my thumbnails kind of displaying as I'm talking about it but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am reviewing a lot more makeup and new collections coming out I have a lot more stuff on the way so definitely check them out I'll have them all linked below but let's go ahead and get started into my ipsy plus for February 2021 now I wasn't expecting to get the plus. I thought I had the Ipsy Glam ba Bag X because it did say, you know, confirmed you'll be getting the X. I even had a whole like fiasco where whenever I did sign up, Ipsy charged me for the plus and the regular and ultimate all at once. And then it was like a glitch in their system and then they fixed it, refunded my money, but I 100% had the Glam Bag X. Well, I noticed yesterday I got charged for the plus and I'm like, what am I not getting the X now? Like what's going on? And so many other people have the same issue. I was speaking with someone that always sends me her choices and stuff for the uh, glam bag and stuff. She actually got the X and she told me that people who paused their subscription, it seems for January, did not get the X for this month, which I did pause for January. I didn't pause for February because obviously I thought I was going to get the X, but I didn't. So if you were someone who was confirmed to get the X and you paused for January and so you didn't get it, let me know down below. Or if you did pause and you still got it, let me know down below. But I am currently on the wait list for May's box. So there's that. And I will be doing a separate video on the Glam Bag X after this because I'm just a little intrigued, might I say. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about my Ipsy picks before we get into my choices, which was a headache, let me tell you. So the first product that Ipsy chose for me was the Ahava Night Replenisher for Normal to Dry Skin. I've mentioned this several, several times in other videos. I just don't care for the brand Ahava. None of the products that I've tried have worked for me. I've had some comments from you guys saying the exact same thing so I don't feel bad that I don't like the product that it doesn't work for my skin so I'm a little like you know when that I got this but I'll just probably give it to my sister um, and then the other product that Ipsy chose for me was the Vasanti Cosmetics Bright Up Miracle Mask 5 in 1 so a little mask we have two skincare items that Ipsy picked for me where is the makeup Ipsy and I do want to mention that the reason why I have been pausing my bags is because since Ipsy sends me PR, I'm like, why get both, you know? So I haven't gotten my Ipsy PR yet. It shipped on Friday and it still hasn't reached it des its destination yet, but that's DHL for you. So I'm excited to do an Ipsy comparison video because I haven't been paying attention to choices the past few months. So I wanna see if my PR is going to be better than my actual paid for bag because this ain't it, this one ain't it. So anyways, Let's choose my first product. I actually accidentally did it screenshot the last two products, but they weren't very good anyways. I think they were both skincare items. So I'm like, you know, whatever. So I have the It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Skin Hugging Foundation Brush, which I actually have right here. I used it today. I usually use this when I use serums before applying foundation and primer, but I used it today to try out the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. Somebody commented on one of my videos yesterday or the day before saying they really liked it. So I tried it today, and if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that it did not work for me it looked terrible on my skin so I took it off and I tried it again but this is a really great brush so if you chose it you're gonna be happy this is one that I use for serums and stuff I don't necessarily use it for a foundation so just 
throwing that out there. And then I had the Dr. Brandt Skincare Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I've had two of these. I currently have one in my bathroom, so I didn't need another one. And I don't really use it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And then the Vita Bur B Bird <laughs> C12 Vitamin C Dual Drop Serum. I don't need another serum in my life. And then we had the Makeup Forever Ultra High Def Invisible Cover Foundation in Y225. I actually chose the foundation just because I thought it was interesting. I looked up the shade. The only thing that it's not going to work for me is that it's the golden undertones, but maybe I can finagle it when I mix it with my uh, Makeup Revolution one. So fingers crossed for that. But I just thought I'd try it. Again, I don't remember what the other two products were, but... They, they they weren't noteworthy anyways. So anyways, choose your second product. We had the B-I-M-A-I-O brand uh, Matte Rescue Ampoli set. So it's some kind of like skin serum set and I'm just like, I don't need that. Um, and then a TYNT Beauty Phantom Liner in Black. Naked Cosmetics 4-Piece Pigment Set and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 140N. I was going to put the foundation even though it's not my actual foundation shade, but um, I was just going to get it anyways and I was probably just going to give it to my niece because she is a, like a really light skin tone. I use it in like, I think it's 200W, I can't remember, but I do have this foundation, it's good, but it was sold out even though it gave me the choice, which I thought if items were sold out, you would get like a whole different choice, but whatever. So I wound up, I wound up getting the NYX Cosmetics four piece pigment set because I did play with like a pigment today that I got in my glossy box from Bella Pierre. It's this pink one and it's really pretty. So you know what? I'm going to try some pigments. Why not? Um, so that's my second choice. Um, and then my third choice, I got the Farah Rendevous Rendezvous brush set, which I almost picked if it wasn't for this next product, which is the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint in Dianesus. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's Halsey's brand new brand that literally just launched. And um, I watched uh, Shay, I, for I forget her YouTube name, but it's Shay, okay? Um, I watched her swatch them all on her eyes and this was like the prettiest color and I was so excited that this was a choice for me. I can't wait to get it and try it out. And then the Violet Boss Lip Gloss in Love in Paris. And then a Marmalade Nails Press On Manicure Kit in Aria, which I thought were, was really interesting. But, you know, these are my natural nails. I grew them out. I don't really need, you know, Press On Nails. So I chose that. And then I went to add-ons. Oh, well, no. I chose it all and then I got the, you know, spinning circle of death for a long time. Sorry, it looks like something went wrong. Please try again. Refresh on the page. I just kept getting that and getting that and getting that. And um, <laughs> then I got the email saying, hey, finish your bag. Get some add-ons. And I kept on trying and trying and trying. And I just could not get any of the add-ons. So I actually Googled it uh, to see if anybody had screenshotted the add-ons. And so... Let me just put the list up. Um, here's the add-ons. Um, we just have, you know, more foundations, um, more skincare stuff. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist, which is an $18 add-on. I have that. I really like that product. Um, I think the only thing I would actually want to add on out of all these add-ons is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser, but I wouldn't pay $18 for it, so I probably would not have added it on, actually, now that I think about it. Um, there was just... There was a lot of add-ons that I just wasn't vibing with. Didn't really care for the brands, so I was actually not bummed that I couldn't pick an add-on because I just wasn't into it. So um, I want to know all your thoughts and opinions below. Did you have good choices this month? I haven't seen like anyone's choices at all the past like well, at least last month nobody sent them to me because I kind of stopped making those videos because I wasn't doing choices. So it's kind of like you know. I'm not actually getting the experience, so why make a video on it? So that's why we were making a video today on it because, you know, I chose and I was highly disappointed even though my PR bags I've been really, like, happy with. So I cannot wait to compare the two when I get them and see if, you know, which which is better. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my March spoilers and all my other eye, like, eye looks and makeup looks and reviews. And my Ipsy Clean Back X video that I'm going to be making right after this. Which will be up after this. But anyways, thank you guys. And um, thoughts and opinions down below. I want to know what you're thinking, your thoughts, all that. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!